So that's crazy. That almost lit on fire two days ago. I was watching a movie and I was sitting on the couch just like this. I then started craving some chicken nuggets because I had just finished dinner with Paris and I was still hungry so I stood up and started walking. And then I went into the kitchen like this. I opened the microwave like this, put my chicken nuggets in and shut it. Then after putting them in the microwave, I thought maybe two minutes was around the time. That was wrong, but I got distracted and I walked out into the main area and I just watched the TV. I became a dad. I didn't want to commit to sitting down because I didn't want to get up again because my things were only going to be in there for like two minutes. So I stood here, but for 10 minutes. So then I come back to the microwave. I came back, opened up the microwave and saw that all four of the chicken nuggets were like really hard and brittle. So my dumbass thought, oh, they're still frozen. Let's throw them right back in there. I kid you not, I come back to actually sit down because apparently I can deal with commitment now. I kick my feet up and within two seconds, I look from the right, which by the way, that wall made it so I couldn't see the smoke. That was a fire. I then came back so fast, I didn't even think to pick up my camera. I'm really pissed because this whole thing was smoke. You couldn't even, it looked like there was a smoke machine inside of the thing. I took a picture because like two of the chicken nuggets were like fried, like they were on fire, they were burned. So I immediately stopped the microwave and I totally thought the fire alarm was gonna go off, which I couldn't be asked to do if it was 9 p.m. Thankfully it didn't because me and Paris were blowing away the smoke with towels, with the door open and the window open. And then the smell lingered in the goddamn microwave for probably three days. It actually still smells like it, like right now. So newsflash, don't put anything in the microwave for three minutes unless it's like soup. So about two to three vlogs ago, I applied to a Sidemen clothing activewear editing contest. I've now gotten an update on that. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Um, I reached out to the main person who, Khan, who is doing it on Twitter, and it turns out he's not going to be doing anything for it. Um, so that's kind of an L because I thought I actually did something. But what I ended up finding is Cody Co actually has a Notion page where he's hiring for multiple positions. And the one position that is actually still available as of today is going to be the graphic designer slash thumbnail designer, which I have experience in but not like photo manipulation. I'm actually kind of weak at that. Like in my portfolio, it's all cartoony, vector-based, typography-based, like a lot of work like that. So I'm gonna go and apply to this. Basically, I just have to pick an old thumbnail from an older video he had and basically email or DM his manager about a newer version that I made. So first I'm gonna have to select the thumbnail, which by looking through the channel, I'm thinking that one kind of stands out for obvious reasons. Just scrubbing through the video, I think I'm gonna pick this. This ice thing falls on this and it breaks, which then prompts him to have like a crazy reaction, which is also in the beginning of the video. So the promise of that being in the thumbnail is delivered instantly. Now we just gotta take the screenshots and uh, put it together. Okay, so I ended up making a couple versions of two thumbnails instead of one. The first one was because there was a good before and after of something falling, but the entire background when you zoom out is all white. So from afar on a phone, I don't think it would be great. But again, it also shows my inclusion of typography and the reaction and, you know, that composition. The second thumbnail I did was for the video where I thought the thumbnail was much weaker, which also makes it look better if I come up with something strong. So there are a couple of versions for this. The first version had just kind of like some fan art in the subreddit, because that's what he's doing in the video just on the right side. Then I looked through some of his videos where he would have an outer glow of a white stroke around it. So then I had that incorporated in the second one. So now I'm going to send both of these two to his producer and kind of just like the last job application. Let's hope this works. 